Falcon Stadium, built in 1962, the site for this college football contest. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Taken at the five. Across the 30. And he's taken down the 38-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First and ten following that big run. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Let's go! Wide 80! There he goes! Touchdown, Falcons! And he adds the extra point. So a fourth play, 63-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. The score now, 7-0. Air Force is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 26. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Out of bounds around the 29-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball in the 29. That makes it second and six. Gives it off. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And it's difficult to run in this defense when they put this kid up in the box. a bullet out to the right. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they make the stop. The 26-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Air Force is up a score. And they get nice yardage on that run. So at the end of one quarter, the Falcons lead 7-0.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. Heading for the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at about the nine-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. made at about the seven yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. They're at the seven. Second down. Here we go, here we go. Set. Touchdown, Air Force. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that. And he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 25-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20, gets to about the 24-yard line. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down at the 31-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Five wide. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 36-yard line, first down. Pass right, running back's got it. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Call it again, 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at the 11. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Going to go across the middle. Caught. And down he goes at the 10. So at the end of the half, the Falcons lead. 14 nothing.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw. And we sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses, and they, they're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half. It, it's time to give the – you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Air Force is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. The Panthers lost a player to an earlier injury. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Man, watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 46. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From their own 46 yard line, first down. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 44. Number five makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. 
But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. And he gains around three on that keeper. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on a corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Here's an opening. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. That's three down and one to go. The Falcons lead it by two touchdowns. First down. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Gets out to around the 38. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Nice run there. The Panthers using their third and last timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he tackles him hard at the 32. That'll bring up third and four. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero a comeback is just not happening quick throw incomplete almost picked off the defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He throws left. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Rifles at right, and they couldn't hook up on that one. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body length. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He chucks it downfield. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the ball game's over. The Falcons get the win here. 14-0. 14. Nothing. 14. The, Panthers. the Panthers. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.